I remember this day in 1965, I stood in that very spot. I was 13 years old and I collected the shells when the guns were fired. And I came back at the age of 21 and I stood in the same place and there was no stone. And I was very upset and I was very angry at the time. And I promised my grandfather before I die, I'd come back and put a stone there. <laughs> and that's why I'm here. And I'm so happy Yay! that. I want to acknowledge his work with Dublin Corporation after the years in which he fought. I think it's particularly fitting that a man who worked, who finished his life in the paving department of Dublin Corporation had in many ways paved the way for Irish history. This is your day. This is your day to celebrate your relative, an important man in our history and an important man in the revolutionary period of this country. During Holy Week 1916, James Connolly appointed Poole second in command to Michael Mallon for the garrison at Stephen's Green. During the siege in the College of Surgeons, a cache of 89 rifles with about 24,000 rounds of ammunition was discovered, um, and Poole distributed the rifles to the men using the rifle range in the college. Um, as you all know, uh, Christopher Poole was a founder member of the Transport Union. He was a personal friend of Jim Larkin. He was a member of the number one branch of the union, which for several years in its early days was the executive of the union and he uh, was appointed by Larkin as one of the members of its very first army council. It is for me a great honour to stand here today in the shadow of this great man Christopher Kidpool. He was first and foremost a man, a compassionate man who loved family and his fellow man. He was a son, a brother, a father, a grandfather. He was a trade unionist Though a small man physically, just five foot four and three quarters according to his military documents, he was destined to walk taller than most. Again, I, I thank you all um, for the lovely things that have been said about my grandfather and it's a memory I will keep forever in my heart. Thank you. Growing up, I listened to all the stories my dad told me about him. I'm here today to represent the Pill family and the Gibson family. My great-grandfather was Captain Christopher Pill of the Irish Citizens Army and my grandmother on my father's side was a Gibson. There were four of the Pills married into the Gibson family. Patrick Pill, brother of Christopher Pill, was married to Bridget Gibson, who used to carry guns into the GPO covered by a shawl on her shoulder and bring in fresh bandages and clean the wounds of the injured. There were two of the Gibsons who were brothers in the Irish Volunteers. They fought under Aim in Kent in the South Dublin Union. They were Michael Gibson from the C Company 4 Battalion and his brother Edward Gibson from the C Company Dublin Brigade. My family and I are all very happy to play a part in commemorating my great-grandfather Captain Chris Redpool and his much improved final rest in peace. It's only for people like Christopher Poole that we can walk down streets in our cities with the pride and patriotism that comes with that feeling that we have of being Irish. He alongside others fought to preserve it in the face of things worse than death. Bless him and others like him for saving our culture, our beliefs and our freedom. And in 2016 I laid a wreath uh, outside the RCSI. Uh, I obviously never met Captain Christopher Bill uh, himself, but after hearing the courageous and inspiring story of his life, I feel a great pride in myself uh, when I speak his name. I hope that he's looking down on us for every years now and feels the same pride Life and we all fear. Rest us all. I never met my great granddad, but having been a former kid myself, I know what he stood for. Rest in peace. Uh -huh.